So included in the exhibition are a number of essays from the Small Acts Journal that are relevant to the research that touch on different politics and social issues and histories within the Caribbean um, that kind of contextualize the exhibition further and invite people to do more of their own research. And there's also a reading list that includes all of the essays in the exhibition. This series is called The Old Devonshire Church via Bermuda through 1 to 12. And the starting point for this work was a record from the Information Research Department, which refers to an arson attack that happened um, at the Old Devonshire Church. And the British government in the record are discussing the fact that they think that the Bermudian Black Power Group, the Blackberry Cadre, were responsible for the fire, although they couldn't prove that it was them. And they were keen to try and um, pin charges on them, basically. So the British government considered the Blackberry Cadre as a serious threat to Bermuda. And um, yeah, they were very keen to try and um, criminalize them in some way. And so in this work, I wanted to think about how fire is actually a tool of resistance and kind of, you know, going back to um, the history of slavery and how for enslaved people, sometimes fire was the only tool that people had. And so there's this history of people um, during the transatlantic slave trade of setting fire to plantations. Um, and also thinking about how sometimes property is valued over black life, that the destruction of this colonial property is seen as a higher value um, than the black people who have to live in this environment. And what the record doesn't tell us is that the church was rebuilt during the 1800s using slave labor. So I really wanted to think about, you know, what does it do for people to continue to live under these colonial systems and this architecture literally built upon the violence of your ancestors? Um, and yeah, and I really kind of grapple with this and think about, you know, what would it look like to actually have a decolonial landscape?